So, what you're seeing here is a method of poking I was taught a couple of years ago. Uh, I was told it's called a flick poke, and seeing as how there's not really any videos teaching newer players how to do anything, really, I figured this could be useful for somebody out there. Uh, it has some strengths and weaknesses, just like anything does, and I wouldn't claim it's the one and only best thing to do at all times. Obviously, in some situations, something like a wiggle will be better, or even a straight-up pure swing with nothing on it. Right, it depends entirely on the situation, and that's something that you're going to learn through experience, when to use what. But its main strength, at least as far as I'm concerned, is probably its mobility. Uh, this is something that can pretty easily give you that one-hit kill in base that everybody loves to see, uh, without requiring you to commit to the swing as much as something like a wiggle does. Movement and mobility are king in this game, and so something like this can lend itself pretty well to that. So I'm going to try to break it down, and uh, hopefully make it easy to understand. So here we go. First up, the basic concept of this technique is we only want to poke the highest damage part of the swing animation. Uh, you can do this with any swing you want, but obviously D-swings are the most commonly used, so that's what we're going to focus on here. But the concept is the same for any swing. Uh, anyway, timing is one of the key things to learn when you're trying to make this work, and the way I always thought of it that helped me is I'm looking to strike with that part of the swing uh, when it makes that saber humming sound. So here's a few clips of that without me talking so you can hear it better. So that's really all there is to it for the timing of this technique. Um, another way to think of it that could help is you want to hit with the middle part of your swing animation as the blade is moving out in front of you. So hopefully that's easy enough to understand because we're going to move right along. One very important thing to note here though is keeping an eye on the range of your hits. It's a good idea even in practice to try and hit with the tip of your blade as much as possible, just to try to get into the habit of using proper range. So this spot is great for that actually, because that darker square on the ground serves as a kind of visual aid. That's a line that you want to avoid crossing. Next up, let's talk about the inputs. Uh, first, notice the mouse movement. Notice how I turn with the swing animation as it approaches the target. It's not much, but for some reason, and I don't really understand why, it really helps with the consistency of making this a one-hit kill. So you want to turn with the swing, briefly, and then it's a quick left turn with the mouse, which is the actual poke action of the whole thing, and then another right turn as you escape with the D key. And now there's really only one important thing left to make this work. You may have noticed the quick tap of the A key at the same time as I turn left with the mouse. That's actually really important as it causes your character model to shift, which in turn affects your swing animation. And you may notice that A tap makes your blade look more as though it's flicking, as it does a sort of snapping motion. And that snapping motion is key to the damage output of this technique. So here's a quick comparison so you can see the difference between doing this both with and without tapping the A key. You should be able to see pretty clearly the difference in animation. So that's 5 without the A key, and then 5 with it. Anyway, that's really all there is to say about this. Um, hopefully I managed to explain it quickly and clearly. If anyone who watches this has more questions, don't hesitate to ask, either in the comments or find me on Discord as I've done this for so long now without even really thinking about it, there very well could be something I just overlooked in my explanation that a newer player just doesn't understand, so I'm more than willing to help out. Uh, one last thing, it might seem simple, but don't get disheartened if you struggle with it at first. Most people I've shown this really have a hard time with it for a while, because as with most things in this game, it takes a while to learn how to do it. Anyway, good luck guys.